the massive Three Gorges Dam has faced the largest flood peak in its history. You wake up in the dead of night, your body jolted awake by a deafening roar. Unlike anything you've ever experienced, the ground beneath you shakes violently, the air filled with a primal, bone-chilling sound that consumes everything. It's not just noise, it's the sound of something massive, unstoppable, crashing down. Suddenly, your house, your street, and everything around you is swept away as if by an invisible hand, carried off down a raging torrent of water. Within moments, the land you knew is swallowed by the ocean. The unimaginable has happened. The Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest dams ever built, has failed, unleashing billions of cubic meters of water across China, flooding cities like Wuhan, Chongqing, Nanjing, and even far off Shanghai. This is beyond catastrophe. It's one of the worst disasters China has ever seen. But as horrifying, as the initial destruction is, it's just the beginning. The Yangtze River Basin, where the dam resides, isn't just any stretch of land. It's the beating heart of China's economy. This region alone contributes about 40% of the country's economy and is responsible for about 15% of global manufacturing. Think about that for a moment. The factories here produce everything from medicine to technology food to textiles. If the work stops here, the ripple effects will be felt across the globe. The very foundations of the world's supply chains would shudder to a halt. In short, you, me, everyone, somehow, someway, we'd feel the aftershock. But that's not even the most immediate concern. The Yangtze River Basin is also the lifeline that feeds millions. Half of China's fish and two-thirds of its rice come from this region. Imagine all of that, gone. The crops, the farmland, wiped out. It's a chilling reminder of China's past, when famine devastated the nation between 1959 and 1961, killing tens of millions. And while today's China is better equipped to handle such crises, a similar disaster could easily spark a humanitarian catastrophe on an unprecedented scale. Now, all of this sounds like the makings of a blockbuster disaster movie, right? A full-on collapse of the Three Gorges Dam is a terrifying thought. But let's be real here. Is this worst-case scenario actually likely? No, it's not. The Three Gorges Dam isn't on the verge of crumbling into dust. In fact, the dam is fitted with 12,000 sensors designed to detect even the slightest sign of trouble. And so far, nothing has raised any alarms. Sure, floods happen, but the dam's 22 sluice gates can release water as needed, sending it downstream where other dams will manage it. Though the dam isn't going anywhere, the real concerns surrounding it are much more complex and controversial. The dam may be structurally sound, but flood control in the region is a constant, delicate balancing act. And that alone raises serious questions. So, while the water may not be rushing through your front door, there's still plenty to worry about. Back when the dam's massive reservoir was first filled in 2003, the structure developed about 80 hairline fractures. While this might sound terrifying at first glance, it's not as dire as it seems. Hairline cracks are actually pretty common when dams first experience the full pressure of a reservoir. The concrete naturally settles and binds together under the weight of the water. This doesn't mean the dam is doomed. It's something engineers anticipate. In fact, most dams worldwide show similar wear. So it's fair to say these early fractures were more the result of overblown fears 
than actual danger. But let's talk about 2020, because that's when things started to get a little more concerning. That year brought record high water levels, and the dam faced new challenges. Reports of non-structural deformations and seepage emerged, raising alarms. China's state-run Xinhua News Agency even confirmed that the dam was under serious pressure, with an operator admitting to visible stress. Waves of flood water crashing into the dam at rates of 61,000 cubic meters per second tested its limits in a way that had never been seen before. Then came the images. Allega satellite shots from Google Earth spread across the internet, showing what looked like severe warping of the dam, causing a surge of panic for the millions living downstream. Fortunately, these images turned out to be fake, a hoax aimed at amplifying fear. I feel scared. I've never seen the water level so high. The noise is so loud. But even without these exaggerated claims, there was some truth to the matter. Deformation did occur during the 2020 floods, although the damage was far less dramatic than the rumors suggested. Jiang Shuguang from the Three Gorges Hub Management Bureau revealed a critical point during this crisis. The dam's priority is its own survival, not preventing flooding downstream. That's why, during severe floods, the dam's sluice gates must be opened to protect the structure. But when this happens, the floodwaters that should have been contained are instead released, impacting millions. In 2020 alone, floods displaced 3.67 million people caused over $20 billion in damages and killed or left missing more than 200 people. This wasn't just an anomaly. This was the kind of disaster the dam was built to prevent. Yet, despite these warnings, criticism, and mounting evidence, experts have made their stances clear. The dam isn't equipped to handle catastrophic floods. A geography professor bluntly said that while the dam may seem impressive, it simply doesn't have the capacity to manage severe rainfall. It's like trying to catch a flood with a cup. The structure can only hold so much before it starts making things worse. And when we look at the Three Gorges Dam, it's clear that the cost has far outweighed the benefits, especially in terms of flood control. This dam, once seen as the ultimate defense against devastating floods, has shown that it may not be up to the task. Miroslav Morenz, an expert in hydropower, said it best. It's impossible to control the Yangtze River Basin with just a dam. The Yangtze is the third largest river system in the world, and relying on one structure to manage its vast and unpredictable waters was always an ambitious, if not reckless, plan. With so much evidence stacking up, it's hard not to question whether the dam can really fulfill its original purpose. But that leads us to a bigger question. Why was the dam built at all if it can't truly prevent the floods it was meant to stop? The idea of damming the Yangtze has been around for over a century, first proposed by Sun Yat-sen in 1919. His vision, however, didn't take shape in his lifetime. It wasn't until Chiang Kai-shek reached out to American engineer John L. Savage, the mind behind the Hoover Dam, that serious plans for the Three Gorges began. However, political chaos soon halted progress, and the project was shelved, first by the Chinese Civil War and later by Mao Zedong during the Communist Revolution due to the country's fragile economy. The dam's construction proceeded, but not without its share of problems. It's so massive that some speculate its sheer size might be slowing the Earth's rotation by 0.6 microseconds due to the redistribution of water mass. Although this is theoretical, it underscores the colossal impact of the dam, not just on the Yangtze, but on the planet itself. Yet, while we can marvel at the engineering feat, we cannot ignore the human and environmental toll. Over a million people were displaced from two cities, 114 towns, and 1,680 villages to make way for the reservoir. The compensation they received was inadequate and corruption plagued the relocation efforts. Wildlife in the area has also suffered 
with many species, like the Chinese paddlefish and Baiji dolphin, pushed to extinction. Even the ecosystem downstream is feeling the strain, as the sediment that once replenished the riverbanks is now trapped behind the dam. So, what does all this mean for the future? The Three Gorges Dam isn't likely to fail outright, but the bigger question is how it will cope with the next major storm. With floods becoming more severe and sedimentation weakening the riverbanks, the real danger might be just around the corner.